Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now in the last episode, we managed to complete this by uh, filling up the water, making sure they don't die first and making a little power spine. Now if you saw the last episode, you might see some new things here. I put some power wheels just for now while they uh, while we wait for to get a power district up and running because this wasn't really working properly because I changed the flow of the water and all that jargon. I also put some Lidos here just to give them a bit of a leisure. I think we've been working a bit too hard. So give them a bit of that. And they're, they're doing pretty fine. Look at all this smoke coming from all the food that they're making. They've got 5,000 bread, 4,000 wheat or flour, wheat flour. And they're doing fine with wheat. So once we're ready, we're going to put 300 beavers in here. But first, before we do that, we need to turn this. We need to destroy this. We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to turn this into a farming district. Now, this needs to produce 3,000 food per day. That's a lot of food. That is a lot of wheat. And I don't want to just make wheat because I could. I could just make wheat and that is the most efficient food to make. I do want to make some other food like potatoes and carrots. We definitely need to make berries because that is used for reproduction. And um, yeah, that's it. What else could we make? We can see down here. We could make some, I don't know what the last one is called, but let's take, let's put it up here. What is it called? It's called maple patisseries we could make that but that costs us maple syrup and wheat flour which and you only get free so it's not it's not that great in terms of efficiency but if we look at what it gives us it gives us 10 percent more carrying speed which again as well i at some point, I don't really need that. I, I prefer life expectancy. So grilled spatter dock would be great. And carrots. So I would like to make these free. What does chestnuts do? Strength, I could make that. I, I, I'm not too fussed about the cattail, uh, cattail crackers and the maple patisseries. So I might just make one, two, three, four, five, five different food items. So we've got to start. We've we've got a, a lot to do. <laughs> we've got a lot to do. So I've started um, making some wood storage. I've blown up a lot of landscape, so it's a lot more flat. There was a massive mountain here, if you remember, and that is all been flattened out. I've got more dynamite because. We're going to make a lot of underwater channels. But first, we need to plan out what we need. Now, I have, there was a post on Discord um, by Aki Shirokitsune. And they put pretty much what the calculation is per day, per food, per tile. So if we look at wheat, it grows in 10 days, three days each, uh, 0.3 day, 0.3 per day, basically. And when you turn it into bread, it results into one point food per day. Now we need 3000 food per day. So if we was only using wheat, we would need around 500 squares of wheat. Then we can focus on other stuff. Now, if we're looking at 500 squares of wheat, that's a lot of wheat. So what is 10 by 10? 10 by 10 squares is should be 100 squares, right? Let me um, just double check that because it's hard to do maths in the morning. Yeah, it's 100 squares. So if we do five 10 by 10 squares, that will be wheat covered. Then that can cover our whole challenge here. Then we can make other food and uh, distribute that. We also need to make loads of storage and we need to make a few, quite a few district um, distribution posts. 
because they're going to be providing food everywhere. So let's get started. I do want this um, place to hold 200 beavers. Um, I don't know if that's going to be too much, but that is the thought process right now. So let's cut down these trees because we don't need them. Uh, yeah. Like that, like that, that. Because I'm going to put everything up here, as in houses and stuff like that, that we don't need, like storage. Because all of this is going to be farmland. We will need some trees to do the cooking. So we've got to remember that. So we're not going to delete all the trees. If we take that, that. Now, let's think about how we are going to do these houses. Now, also, this is gonna be a hub to make the dam later on. So I'm moving a lot of my uh, produced materials over there because all this is gonna be deleted. We're not gonna produce any logs, any planks, any gears from here. It's literally just gonna be food. Have I got any free weave? I've got five, okay. Migrate four. We can pause that. We can unpause that. And unpause this and this. I don't want them doing that. I want them to build this and this stuff up here. So they can get on with that. Because that will be the next thing we do is building a dam. Now we need to make more water storage. I want 10. I'm going to get rid of these, so let's empty these storage. And we're going to need to delete this pathway for now. And put that there. Then we're going to put two more water storage. Like so. We're going to need to make, I'm going to give them some le leisure as well. So having, we're going to need to move these campfires, but we are going to use them at some point. So, but we're going to leave it for now. i got to be careful of how I move things around, to be honest with you. Because this place is quite established already and it's going to be hard moving everything around. All right, so houses is what I was on. So if we want 200, we've got a large barrack which is 16, we've got a barrack which is 10. What is 200 divided by 8? Again, maths uh, divided by 8 is 25 exactly, that's perfect. Either 20 of these or 25 of these. How much space does this take up? And this. But this one, we could get quite a lot in here. But stacking on top of each other will be pretty tall. Where these stacking on top of each other might be a lot easier and look a little bit better. Let's do these for now. We're gonna actually no 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 no. I'm gonna do a design that I've seen on YouTube, which you do with a free man gap or free space gap. And yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so what it looks like now it's a little bit different than the one I saw. One I saw. And the person I saw it from was JD Plays. Now I'll put his uh, channel down below. You can go check out his video. He does a lot of um, designs when it comes to houses and other things. So go check that out. But this is what I've come up with. Oops, let's, let's do this. There you go. So we've got rooftop terraces, we've got shrubs, we've got roofs, and we've got multiple houses. 20 houses just to have enough for 200 beavers. Cool. Now I'm going to let them start building that and uh, they can have fun with that. Let's get some more pathways in here. 
just so that they have a way to get in and out. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's the first bit done. Now we need to think about storage. I need a ton of storage. I need about 50,000 worth of storage. And I'm thinking of doing something like I did here. So I would need 50 of them. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, now I could do two types of two different storages. One here and one here. I think I may just do one here for now. Let's see how that goes. So in order to do that, we need to delete that. Um, let's get storage up and running. I'm going to leave the wood storage here. I don't mind that being there. I don't think I'll move it. I may move it, but I don't think I'll move it. Let's uh, delete that. And get some more storage down. So I want to try and get more than what I can. <laughs> A lot more than what I can fit here. So if we get five out here, then we need to go up by 10. That's not gonna be great, is it? I could get another five going this way, but I don't know how far we'd be able to reach. Yeah, I might try five here and five there. Let, let's see how that goes. Um, let's get some platforms going around here. Be fair, we can do it like that, I guess. Like that. Let's see how many that can fit on. Um, just need one more. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's do that there. It takes up three squares, doesn't it? Yeah like that and then we can do this and I'll put some behind as well yep yeah, I'm I'm okay I'm okay with that I am okay with that cool. let's get some more platforms going in good there some pathways the pathways can actually go around here and here now, I might make it be able to go around here. I'm not sure yet. Depends on how we stack this. Or how this is going to be stacked. So, how are we going to stack this? This is something I should have thought of before I did that. Mm. These are done, aren't they? Yep, cool. That's done. Oh, it's got eight, doesn't really matter. That's got 200, I'll, I'll leave that for now. And what is, it's still green here, but that's all right. How am I gonna stack? I may have to go round like this, which is not too bad, let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna put this all along. Yep. And we've got we've got quite a few planks, haven't we? We've got a thousand planks, so we shouldn't be too bad, but we are using quite a lot, so I'm gonna start making some more just in case. And if I turn this like that, that means I can do something like this. Now, what level is that? That's a high level, isn't it? That is a high level. Hmm. It might need to go higher than that. Now, I wonder if there's a different way to stack it. I could... Stack it. I could open up these and stack it one down. I've seen someone do it as a triangle. But 
I don't really, honestly, I don't really like that design. It's, I think it's an efficient design, I just don't like it. <laughs> uh, what am I doing here? That needs to be deleted. And we're going to turn that around here. That can go there. And that can go up there. And that is, I think that's the right height. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm going to get that running around and we'll see what we do. Okay, so I've decided to not do 50,000 storage because I was thinking about it. I was thinking, would I even need that storage? I'm going to be constantly giving food away. So I shouldn't need 50,000 storage. If I do, I will build it, but I don't think I do. So I've decided to do this and this is going to be uh, five, five, 20,000 storage. So that's, that's not too bad. And if needed, I could go again upwards and do another 10, but I don't think we'll need it. I don't think we'll need it, but we're going to, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to play it by ear, as they say. Let's, uh, put that in there. So I'm going to wait for them to do all of that and I'll put the other two storage down. So let's get some, uh, decorations on this. Maybe some. I really don't like putting roofs on these. I don't think they look good at all. What if I do? It just doesn't look good, does it? It just doesn't look good. I, I really don't like it. <laughs> um, maybe if I put some planks on them. Are we in a drought? We are in a drought. No wonder the music changed. Maybe if I did this, um, where is the roofs? Now I put levies on them, I can't, can I? No, I can't. Okay. Decorations. Uh, ah, I just, they, they definitely need more variety of roofs, especially a six by six. Well, three by three, sorry. Because that just doesn't look nice. Okay. I, I don't like it. Uh, maybe some bushes or something. I don't even know if they can reach that far. We're going to leave it for now. I'll try and figure out something nice to put on top of there. Okay, so we've got housing, we've got storage. Now we need to think about food, the actual main product of this. Now I'm going to move all my um, distribution centers up here. Let's actually start doing that. Because we need as much space as possible when it comes to um, Farmyard. I couldn't say the word. I couldn't say the word at all. But we're going to need quite a few distri uh, distribution centers. Most probably a good seven or eight of them. So I might block this area and make this a whole distribution center area. We need to get some drop off posts as well, just in case. I don't expect them to need anything. But just in case they do, we can always put a few things here. Uh, let's get this done super fast. And this as well. Let's get them all done. We need to um we need to carry on doing this stuff. We can't stop. No stopping for us. No stop no rest for the wicked as they say. Right. So yeah, we're going to put distribution centers up there. Now I want to see how big a 10 by 10 crop field is. It's a shame they don't have a indication. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it's that big basically. I didn't mean to do that. But to be fair, that's a decent place to put it. Now we need five of them. We need five of them. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Let's get this 
distribution post down. Yeah, and I might put some like that. Yeah, I'd have to blow this up. That's fine. I can I can get out of camera. So the thing with this as well, we're gonna build underwater channels that supply us with water. So let's get a few more of these done. Okay, so we're gonna do something like that. I'm gonna actually make six. So that's gonna be 600 plots of wheat, which if they provide 1.5 per day per block, times that by 600, that's 900 a day. That's nowhere near what I need. <laughs> I miscalculated massively. I need that at least three times. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wait, let me just let me just check my calculations actually. Maybe I calculated wrong. Six hundred. Yeah, that's 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 nowhere near what I need. But that's fine. That's fine. We've got a lot of space to play with. As you can see, this can go out quite far. And once we blow up this, we'll make pathways here so it can go out a bit further. So we might have to actually blow this out. Now I do need to leave space. I just realised I do need to leave space for farms. Now how much can no, I actually do that? I can actually do quite a lot. I can actually do quite a lot. Okay, so I might put some farms here. I'm going to have about 15 farms because I want them to be farming everything as soon as it's like ready to be harvested and plant as soon as it's ready to be planted. Um, we need to put some more berries here. So I'm going to make this a big berry field at some point. And we're slowly, slowly, but surely getting it. I do want to, so if we do this, I do want to do it too deep so that it's all going to flow out here at one point. But if it's too deep and this is only one deep, that means that if we have a drought and all the water goes, there will still be a block of water in each block, basically, instead of two blocks of water. So that is the initial plan, but we'll see how that goes. And I can go deeper, so that's great. And then we'll put platforms over and we'll turn it into pathways and yada, yada, yada. We'll get the water flowing from here. So it'll go all in and spread across the whole area. And yeah, we're gonna have a lot of wheat <laughs> and we're gonna need to have quite a bit of power to process all that wheat and then a lot of bakeries. But I'm going to let this bit get done and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. And the housing is done. The warehouses are taking quite some time. They take a lot of planks <laughs> and I ran out of planks. I have over a thousand planks, but we've been using planks for platforms and all that jazz. These are all built and look what I've been doing. Look at this farm plot. So I did actually move a lot of stuff here. I moved my wood storage. That again is going to be temporary. We're going to get 10 plots of wheat down here. And I've blown up two layers of uh, ground to say. So it goes too deep. And here there's a little nook here. So it doesn't all come out once we get into a drought. So it will stay from there to there and it will keep things irrigated. I think it looks cool. I'm going to put, so we're going to put another two here. This bit is going to annoy me because we can't do that. Oh, I just realized that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still missing three. Ah, oh, okay. We're going to have to, we're going to have to miss three. It's fine. It's fine. So I tell myself. And I may move this district center to here somewhere. We're also going to do another five going down here for how many we can get because it does go up here. I wish it went like this. This would be perfect. But we're going to put another, maybe four. Yeah, I think we'll put another four here. Because then we'll move this and then we can move all of this and we can make berries here and some trees and don't know where I'm going to process all of this stuff. <laughs> have no idea because how far does this go out? 
It does go out quite far. It does go out quite far. So I could actually blow this up and process it all here. Here we're going to have some farmhouses. Or down this middle bit because there is going to be a gap between these uh, wheat, wheat, wheat plots, should I say. I'm going to move this storage here as well. And we need to sort out this river. <laughs> we need to... We need to do a lot. We need to do a lot. This is going to be a massive project. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit 3,000 food per day. I'm hoping we can. But the good thing is, I don't really need to because they are producing their own food as well. Like here, they'll be producing their own food. When we make a production area here with the mine and that, they'll be producing a bit of food as well. And when we make the dam, and I think I'm going to make the power plant here they're going to be producing their own, a little bit of their own food. So it's a bit less strenuous on these guys here. So, unfortunately, that is all I've got time for today. And we will make sure that we get a lot more done in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I hope you're excited to see how this turns out. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Peace.